Cassie from Cassie Director and today I want to show you how you can make the Lumos effect in After Effects. Okay, let's get started. So first go and drag your raw clip into the new comp button here. It will create a new composition. Next step is go to track your magic wand. The best is when you have a white point on your magic one on the top here. So go to tracker and if you don't fit it go to window and tracker. Click on track motion and track the position. Now drag the clip here on. Then go to analyze forward and it will track your clip. So do it with the, the whole sequence. You can see I did it already. So when you are finished with the tracking, go to layer, new, null object, then choose a null object and click apply. And then click apply X and Y. You can shut off this eye here, but it will still follow. Next step is go to layer and create a new solid, so new solid, make it any color, I use black and name this lens flare, make comp size and ok. Choose in your effect panel, lens flare and drag it on your solid, effect, blur and sharpen and CC vector blur. blur and sharpen CC Radial Blur and Effect Color Correction uh, Color Balance. Choose Lens Type to 105 Prime, the Type to Directional Center, set the Amount to 10, and the Revolution to 13, the Property to Alpha and the Matte Softness to 25. For the second lens, set the flare blurness to 78 and the blend or with origin to 0, leave it like that, and the property to alpha. Now um, hold on shift and select your two lens flares and drag them onto your magic wand and then set the parent to the null object. So both are parent to the, and you see now they follow the magic wand. Next go to layer and create a new solid. Because I want to make our uh, vignette and then click here on the little arrow and choose ellipse tool. And now make our ellipse what you like to have and then on mask set it to subtract and hit mm to open the layer option set the feather to 100 and play around with what you like and maybe the, maybe the opacity so i leave it like that next go to layer and create a new light it's spotlight Intensity 100, Cone Angle 180 and Cone Feather 50, Color White, Cost Shadows and Shadow Darkness 100 and Show Diffusion 0. Hit OK. And first go and parent this to the null object. And now look where is your magic wand and this on the center thing here. and drag it to your magic wand and make it like your middle point and your light are both together uh, and then it should follow your magic wand too. Why I do this? Because the light will have an influence of light around and don't forget to click on to make 3D layers because the influence of the light will be only when you have 3D layers. So when you click now on the axis, you will see it goes darker and yeah. So I think that's very cool. Uh, set it to what you like. 
So I think I have the ZX around 100, minus 180. And I think that's good enough. Now we want to make some color corrections. So go to your original clip. Go to your effects pillar and choose um, brightness and contrast. And drag it on your clip. And set the contrast to 25. Uh, now click on your effects pin and type in tint and double click there and go to the map Y2 and then choose your color I choose our blue you see now here uh, you can see the light it will stop here we will fix that go to your lens effect and then go to your ellipse tool and double click there to open our lips mask and hit mm oops, mm to feather it set the ma mask expansion to minus 144 and set the feather to 39 copy this mask so go to edit and copy and go to the second lens flare and edit paste so now we get no more this stupid boring border and that is all so no so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe because uh, there will be in the next days maybe a week uh, another Harry Potter effect and maybe some more later see you next time bye <laughs>